Previously, on Predict the Six. Jim picked up two correct predictions. Correctly predicted them finally beat Morton, even my handicap on the Pars game couldn't stop her getting that one right. And my turn at last week was just the one correct prediction. Cheers, Motherwell. For the first time in ages, Jen has got more predictions correct than me. So the scoreboard changes ever so slightly after that, with Jen picking up one point more than me last week. She's now seven points behind. Jen on 15 points, and myself on 22 points. And we're back, Jenny, we're back. You got more points than me last week, and why was that? It's lucky. No, because I gave you the games that I wanted. I gave you the games that I thought were certain, even though one of them, still in V-Breaking, ended up no coming out the way you predicted it. Breaking actually won a game. It's mad. Like, how? They won the winning games, and you went against them, and they won a game. I meant to do that more then. Are you done it this week? Nope. Brilliant. So Breaking are going to lose this week. That's all we know. So last week, your word for them to comment in order to get a shout out was... Sub. Remember to subscribe. So let's scroll down in the comments from last week's video and find out who is getting a shout out this week. 1987 DGM. Late to the show, so just Sunday's game, I will predict Celtic 3, Rangers 1. Now, obviously, that was wrong. Celtic won 1-0. He got the right result in the way. Celtic did win and did go on to lift the Betfred Cup. So there you go. 1987 DGM, I believe his name was. You got the shout out. And it was his first time participating. Was it? Aye, because he said no to the show. I think he said late to the show. As in, he was just watching yeah. the video late. Okay. Maybe he's been here before. 1987 DGM, let us know how long you've been subscribed for. And on to this weekend's word, this episode's word. What is it? Red card. Red card. So, comment red card. The predictions for the games you're going to be at this weekend or are interested in or the ones we predict and like the video as well. It's important that you do that for the sake of the channel more than anything else. And now, without further ado, Jenny, let's cover our games that we're going to predict this weekend. Are we ready? So ready. Come on! So the games I'm predicting this week are Partick Thistle versus Inverness, Falkirk versus Rafe Rovers, and Motherwell versus Rangers. And my games are our Broth versus Dundee United, Airdrionians versus Peterhead, and Kelty Hearts versus Vale of Leithen. So now, my dear, without further ado, let's get in the actual talking about what games we've predicted, why we've predicted them, and what results are going to come out this weekend. Hopefully, once again, I can come out on top this weekend. I felt very downheartened by the fact that you got more correct than me. That shouldn't be happening. It's just luck. Aye. With you, it probably is luck. With me, I should be doing better. Daddy, be so hard on yourself, son. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I said, my first game is Partick Thistle versus Inverness. Now, we know that Dunfermline won against Partick Thistle a couple of weeks back, and I think I predicted them to lose last week, and they actually won. Last week's games, I had Partick Thistle to oh. lose, and they won. Oh, what a shame. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I've still got them to lose this week. Uh, I think Inverness are going to win. You can explain more. I didn't really do much research. I just picked the teams on one of the teams that I knew. She basically went to the league table, looks at who was above who, and shows her winners based on that. Inverness are second. Inverness indeed are second. Patrick Thistle are ninth. Came off the bottom of the table last weekend with their win over Queen of the South. Inverness have been the better team so far this season, obviously with being second in the league. Of course they are. But Partick Thistle will want them to be kicking on at some point, albeit they don't have the best squad. And I do imagine that Ian McCall will be wanting to change that squad come January when the transfer window opens. But you would have to say that Inverness are the better team at this moment. Even if Partick make a barrel load of changes in January, you would still imagine that Inverness should be the stronger team here. What's your prediction then? Inverness to win. Did you say that earlier? Yes. I apologise for not listening to you. <laughs> so it's an away win? For your first one. In a wee one. Interesting. <laughs> Very. My first game is our Broth versus Dundee United. And this one, I'm going for an away win as well. Dundee United to beat our Broth. Sorry to my man Dick Campbell and Bobby Lynn, the Good Guys FC members that currently play for or represent our Broth. I'm actually going to go on the side of 
Bob, I guess, you remember Nicky Clark and say that his team's going to pick up the win and Dundee United are going to perhaps extend the lead at the top of the table or at least keep that gap open to whatever it is at the moment. I think it's something like 10 points or something like that. The weather may have an impact because it is at our broth and we all know what it's like up there. It's freezing cold, the wind, etc, etc. And Dick Campbell's done very well with his Arbroath side this season so far. However, as I said, just think that Dundee United have too much. So, that's my prediction. An away win, like Jenny. So my second one is Falkirk versus Rafe Rovers. Now, Rafe Rovers are Dunfermline's Derby rival. That's the one. Both of them are our rivals. Both of them are the rivals. So I thought it was be interesting. Don't know too much about them, but all I know is Rafe was at the top of the table. Falkirk <laughs> are in the top four and they're all vying for the kind of top spot in that league. The top four in that league are you know, all in around about the same points and this is a very vital game. But I've put Rafe to win this one just because I kinda want Ben to be like on the hype of Derby Day again. You're quite right, I would like Derby Day back, but if Falkirk don't come up that's another Derby Day that is gone as well. Yeah, so but Rafe is more interesting. Alright. Well, there you go. The Wii team is more interesting to Jenny. There you go. And another League One fixture is my second fixture. Airdrionians versus Peterhead, currently in the mix of that top four, like we just mentioned there. They got defeated for Wraith Rovers last weekend, away at Wraith Rovers, and I do think that Airdrionians should still be strong enough to beat these type of teams. When I spoke about the month of December for the League One teams in the top four, I did think that East Fife and Airdrionians had the good fixtures in terms of the two games in between the ones playing Peterhead, Stranraer, teams like that. So, this one for Airdrionians should be a win for them. They're a very strong team this season. They've turned out to be good contenders at the top end of the league. And I do think they'll go on to win this game. Perhaps with a cheeky wee Callum Smith goal. Did you know he's on loan at Airdrionians? I bet you did, not I bet I did. Did you? Yeah. Oh, wow. You know nothing else. Like You, you know nothing about Wraith Rovers. But you know that Callum Smith was on loan at Airdrionians. Yeah, because you told me. I've told you lots about Wraith before. They're the wee team, Jenny. No, eh? You didn't say that. I've got too much stuff going on my head. It's such a mind. So, I just to confirm, Airdrionians to beat Peterhead. And my last one is Motherwell versus Rangers. Now, Ben made the good point that whenever this game is played, I always choose it. I always make the wrong decision. I think I always say that it's either going to be a draw or Motherwell's going to win. But Rangers were playing very well on Sunday against Celtic. Had a lot of chances. But obviously Motherwell won their game. But just to be on the safe side and just to hopefully get an extra point, I'm going to say the Rangers are going to win this one. Sorry. Now Jenny is correct. She does predict this one quite a lot and ends up getting the result wrong most times. And I don't know. If it were me, I'd probably sit on the fence with this one and go for a draw just to be neutral and easy because I just don't know who really is the stronger one going into this game. Huff to back Rangers I suppose but they have just come off that old firm game. They might be on a bit of a lull after that game and going away to Mullerwell isn't exactly the easiest fixture to play. Will Rangers do it this weekend? As I said I'd go for a draw. Jenny? Rangers win. And finally this weekend Kelty Hearts versus Vale of Leithen. Now this is a very random fixture for me to pick but I need the points. Kelty Hearts are flying high near the top end of the Lowland League and look likely to eventually secure a playoff place to be in the pyramid playoffs to go up to League 2 for next season. And as I said, I'm just picking this game because I really do expect Kelty Hearts to go out and win this convincingly. I want the points. Kelty Hearts win. No other thing to say because I know bleep all about Vale of Leiden. Need to keep it PG. Can he swear? Mm. Right, dear, here we go. The Predict the Six handicap wheel is back out once again for another week. You will handicap my game first. So we notes. are going Arbroath versus Dundee United. Just because Dundee United, again, are sitting on top of the table and most likely to get... I was going to say relegated. To get promoted. Um, yeah, I just feel like the prediction you've made is going to be the right prediction, so I don't want that to happen. Do not look. I won't look. Void prediction. Ah, crikey. <laughs> I can only get two predictions this week then. That's me stuffed. 
not even able to get maximum points. What a shame. Oh well, I'm seven points clear anyway. It's so Christmas. Joke's on you. <laughs> and I'm going to handicap your perfect Thistle versus Inverness game for no other reason than I don't really trust any of other fixtures. Bang. We'll stop it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Give an exact score prediction. Oh, get away. This um, helps because you know nothing. I know absolutely nothing. 4 2. 4 2. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've not got a point, <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid to tell you. You never know. No. I do know. I'll give you an extra point. I'll give you two points if that's correct, right? Cool. Right. Never mind just the one. I'll give you two if it's 4 2 to Inverness. Right, cool. Come on, Inverness. And that's it for this week's video, guys. Cheers for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like, comment, red card. Red card, your predictions, any for this week, and subscribe for more of this type of content. And until the next video, I'll see you then. I'll see you next week. Cheerio. Bye.